Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of the Time Spent Show. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, so, we got this big piece of wood. Let's go cut it with a big old saw. Yeah. So here I am taking out my dad's 10-inch table saw, cranking up that blade, and then adding the spacer bar thingy so I get equal cuts. I don't actually know the true title of what that spacer bar thingy is, but it's a spacer bar thingy to me. And that's that's what it's going to be in this video, too. Okay, so I lied. Uh, I actually just quickly Googled it, and it's actually called a saw fence. And I thought it was such a weird name that I thought that I should include it. So it's called the saw fence. Now you can see me putting away the saw because I want to make sure it doesn't get rained on, and I'm happy I did because it did rain uh, one night after this. Now you can see me sanding these guys with an orbital sander. And instead of me talking about sanding wood, I'm actually just going to let some of that um, open source music fade in and you can watch me sanding wood in the sunshine without my voice talking about sanding wood in the sunshine. So as you may have noticed right there, I realized that my clamps are too small to glue all four of the pieces of wood together so I'm gonna do these three and then while they dry I actually went and bought some larger clamps 24 hours later so here we are 24 hours later I'm removing those smaller clamps and the bigger clamps are about to make their first appearance here they are the big clamps uh, 24 inches of clamping ability um, a bit of overkill, but I thought I'd get some big clamps just for future projects, just in case. 24 hours later. So, one more session of sanding with the fully glued and dried, and now board. It's a, it's a board of four pieces of wood. So, I'm going to sand it one more time just to make sure everything's smooth and copacetic. I also sanded the backside so that it would hang flushly from a wall. Flushly? It would be flush to the wall, sorry. All right, so now we're moving on to the painting section and going to actually move back to gesso this week. So that's that first coat of gesso, sanding it with the orbital sander. And then that second coat is going on right now. Going to let it fully dry. And then moving on to some copper, white, and yellow, spreading those out, adding red to the top right-hand corner, having some fun with brush strokes. Also using my palette knife a little bit. And here I am about to, yeah, here's the pour with uh, acrylic latex this week. I found it to be much smoother to draw on than just the acrylic mixed with water, less bumpy. And here you see me trying to balance the whole thing so the paint doesn't flow off. I actually used some paint tubes to get that balancing act going. Much like my life, I balance it with paint. 24 hours later. So now that the paint's fully dry, I'm going to move on to the grid section. And that first vanishing point is in the left-hand center of the screen. So filling in all those lines for that first vanishing point of the two-point perspective grid. Going to pause it once more. There's the second vanishing point in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. So filling in all of those lines for that second vanishing point. Yup. Now we're moving on to the ink time lapse. As is the tradition of this show, I'm going to let everybody take a breath, including myself. Going to let that music fade in once more. <laughs>
So here I am just about done filling in those perpendicular lines on all of the boxes in the grid. And now I'm going to fill in the grid one more time with ink on top of the ink, starting with that first vanishing point. All those lines connecting to that first vanishing point. Fixing a smudge right there that I made. And since the song is over, I'm just going to I'm just going to awkwardly talk until awkward outro time. I feel like it's fitting. We're going to have awkward lead into awkward. So almost done with that first vanishing point. Moving on to the second vanishing point right now. Yep. Here we go. Beautiful. Feeling super awkward. I don't even know what to say. Um, we all know that I'm still filling in that second vanishing point. I guess I should call out that I just dropped a little bit of ink in that right hand portion of the piece and I just kind of rolled with it. A little mistake, but it was a good mistake. Now I'm starting the outline, working from left to right, starting at the top of the piece and then I'm going to move to the bottom of the piece to avoid as many smudges as I can avoid. Smudges are going to happen. That's that's part of life. That's part of how my practice is. So I just kind of have to accept the smudges. Almost done with the outline here. We're going to be into awkward outro time in about three, two, one. So there you have it. Another another week gone by, another piece of art, and another awkward outro time. Uh, thanks for joining me this week. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Um, I had a really fun time with the whole process of this piece. I think moving forward, I'm going to do similar types of work where I take a plank of wood and then I make it a board of wood and then I paint on that wood and I make it all beautiful and shiny. It is actually pretty shiny as you can see. I'm not just saying that. It's got some some gloss to it. So yeah, um, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week with another installment of the Time Spent Show. Peace out.